All right, so I'm gonna make this video really quick just to help everybody out, help hopefully resolve your guys' lag problems. This is what helped me in this OG season, this Fortnite 2023 season, uh, whatever we have going on that's been causing lag for everybody. This is how I resolved this issue for myself. First, we're gonna start in the launcher here. This is the uh, Epic Games launcher. Go ahead and go to your library and find Fortnite. Click the little three dots right down here below the uh, little game picture. Go to options. And this is probably gonna resolve the issue for most people. And even if you've done this, uh, still follow the rest of the video, do the rest of the things that should resolve your issues. So first things first, you're probably gonna have a lot more of these boxes clicked. Uncheck all of them except for these two that I have selected. Uh, check Fortnite Core and Battle Royale, boom, uh, and then uncheck, you know, save the world, high resolution textures, DirectX 12, uncheck all those, you don't need them, you don't need to waste the storage, and this is going to fix your performance. Go down to disable cosmetic streaming, and as you hover over this, you'll see it says installs all cosmetic streaming assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay. All right, so what that is saying is every time you drop into a lobby um, and every time you go play Fortnite, instead of already having uh, texture saved, backpack saved, glider saved, pickaxes saved, skins saved, uh, vehicle wraps, etc., instead of having all of that saved, it's streaming it and downloading it as you run into it. So like you are going into the lobby and when you lag really bad in the pregame lobby that's because it's trying to like download in like source all of the skins and backpacks and shits that are around you and then when you run into people and you start to build that's why like you're starting to lag because it's trying to download the pickaxe that kid's pulling out it's trying to download the backpack the glider the skin whatever it is it's not storing any of that locally on your pc it's a stupid setting I don't know why Fortnite had that. I don't know. I, I don't even know if this is new or what, but this is an issue for a lot of people and that's what's causing a lot of the lag. So make sure you come here and you check that box, this box, uncheck all the others and apply that. Whenever you apply it, it's going to re-download your Fortnite really quick. It's going to uninstall all the dumb shit you didn't need and then you're going to launch Fortnite. All right, so now that we have uninstalled some shit, and we have relaunched Fortnite. We are gonna go into the settings. All right, now that we have uninstalled all that shit and selected what we needed to select previously in the launcher, we have gone into Fortnite and we've gone into our settings. Hopefully you know how to find the settings, but if not, that is how you find the settings. Go here to your graphical settings up here, video, display, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go here. And you're going to notice I am in performance mode, and that is what you're going to want to play in. But before we just get these performance mode settings set, you actually have to do something else. I had you previously uncheck DirectX 12 and uninstall that, and there is a reason for that. Uh, the reason for that is no matter which render mode you select in Fortnite, it still tries to source and utilize things from the other render mode so it'll still try and source like your shader preferences and shit for the other render modes even when that isn't your selected render mode i don't know why uh fortnite is a complex game fortnite is a complex game so go to directx 11 and we have to go in there and we have to set our directx 11 settings to not toll and troll performance mode so go to directx 12 or directx 11 go to directx 11 and click apply and it'll restart your game. All right, <clears throat> and as you log in and Fortnite relaunches, we will jump back into the settings. Go back up here, click your little profile icon thing up there in the top right. Go down to the settings cog. Settings again, if you don't know how to find them. All right, so now that it's relaunched, we're in DirectX 11. Go ahead and set these to what you should play in. It should be full screen, 19, 20 by 1080, uh, V-Sync off. And then this is really important. This is something that's really important and a lot of people don't realize this is a source of their issue. Um, a lot of people try to play in Unlimited, which is what I used to play in, um, or they play strictly set to their monitors 
frame rate or refresh rate or whatever you want to call it, the hertz, whatever. Uh, what you're going to want to do, like my monitor is 144 hertz monitor, so whatever your monitor is, go one above that. So I play in 160 FPS. Uh, if you have a 240 hertz monitor, go to 360, not unlimited, only go one above what your monitor's rate is. So I have a 144 hertz monitor, I do 160 and do that accordingly to yours. Then we're going to go down here, uh, colorblind. If you have colorblind settings, you're welcome to do whatever you prefer. Go down to motion blur, turn off motion blur. Uh, quality presets, we're gonna do custom. Anti-aliasing, go ahead and turn that off. Uh, your graphics card, your NVIDIA, whatever you have should do all of that on its own. You don't really want the game to do any of that. So off, uh, 3D resolution 100%. Uh, then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna turn off 3D dynamic resolution. Uh, the Nanite virtualized geometry, turn that shit off. Turn off shadows, global illumination, turn that off, reflections off, view distance near, textures low, effects low, post-processing low, and then we're going to turn off all these advanced things, so show FPS, I turn that off, you can leave that on if you want, I don't really care about seeing the FPS, if you care about seeing it, go ahead, turn it on, uh, use GPA crash debugging, no, turn that off, latency markers, turn that off, NVIDIA reflex low latency, uh, turn that to on plus boost and report performance stats disable that shit uh, If you you will have to click apply and save that I've already saved that now. Here's the deal This is the direct x11 settings, and this is not what we are going to be playing in this is uh, This is just setting these settings so that when we go back to performance mode none of these things are like tolling performance mode in the background because for some reason Fortnite still tries to use these settings even though you aren't setting DirectX 11 to your preferred setting. <clears throat> so, once you've set those, apply them, save them, and then we're going to go back to performance mode and apply that. It's going to restart Fortnite again really quick. Alright, and as Fortnite relaunches and we get back in here, we're going to go into performance mode. And we're just going to set our settings to what we need them to be so that performance mode can actually help Fortnite perform. So go back to the settings cog, go back to settings. And again, uh, you can go ahead and make sure you're in full screen. Full screen is the best window mode for performance. Set your resolution, 1920 by 1080, uh, unless you play in something different. V-Sync, turn that off. Frame rate, again, one above whatever your monitor's built to so mine's 144 hertz monitor i do 160 fps make sure you know obviously we're in performance mode uh set up your colorblind to your preference this is my preference i don't know honestly at this point with the way things have changed with like lighting and shit in fortnite i don't think this shit even matters you could probably turn off colorblind mode go down to graphical settings and you're going to want to make sure 3D resolution, 100%. Turn off this Nanite virtualized geometry. Turn that little little guy off. Go to view distance. Turn that shit down to near. Turn textures down. Turn meshes down. I mean, unless you want to... Uh, the, uh, there's nerds who will say to do otherwise. Uh, if, if you really care about uh, the way your builds look or whatever, then you can change that but textures meshes just turn it all down man you're trying to get your game to not lag trust me this is what you're gonna want to do uh i'd have fps off and obviously turn off the uh reporting stats and apply all of that and that's it once you've done those things uh performance mode should actually work if you know you know in good faith if you want to help yourself out go ahead and just close fortnite after setting up those settings and relaunch it but you should be good from there guys Again, the huge thing is that you set the setting in the in the launcher here. This is really important. I'm going to go back and show it just one more time. Uh, let me let me go ahead and just turn this on so you guys can see it right here in the options. This disabled cosmetic streaming is extremely important. Having everything stored locally 
keeps it so that you're not having to have your PC download and process textures, skins, camos, etc. as you're running into them in game. That that's this is what's really important. Uh, the DirectX 11 stuff in your frame rate is also super important because if your frame rate is wrong in DirectX 11 or any of those settings are too high in DirectX 11 and you're running performance mode, again, for some reason, Fortnite tries to source and utilize those things even though it's not your preference. Stupid, but it's the way the game works. Hopefully, these solutions help you out and you're able to play Fortnite without lag. Thank you, guys. Like the video, comment, share with friends who need it. Subscribe to this channel and also go to kick.com slash Millie and watch me live every single night guys I'm a full-time streamer and this is just something that people have asked for on Twitter and My chat has had me go over like every single night. So I'm making this video literally just the link in chat, but uh, Thank you guys. Thank you for your support and peace out